Hello, I'm Mark. I post two tutorials like this every week, so please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to recolor the object in the picture using Affinity Photo. Alright, so here I am in the program. I need to tell the software which object I want to recolor, so I need to make a selection. Of course, you can be super precise and going fully manually, but in my case, I will use this selection brush over here. Now I can simply brush inside the object around the edges and the program will try to find a difference in colors and select only the object. So let me just quickly select everything I need. It will probably select a little bit too much in the first round, so we will need to deselect some parts, but that's all right. All right, go up here, over here. I already see I got a problem here with the pattern on the wall behind the sofa. So the sofa and the star on the wall, it's very similar color, very similar shade of blue. So for my graphic software here, it will be too similar to distinguish in the first run, so I'm going to fix it soon. All right, now I can select all necessary elements first and then switch here to subtract. And now I'm deselecting, I'm taking away from selection. So you got two options for this selection brush in the first option you are adding to selection and then if you click the second icon you will subtract from it. You can also use the slider to modify the head of the brush, the size of the head of the brush. You can also use square brackets on your keyboard. That's my favorite method. So if you're using desktop version like me or you got a keyboard with your iPad you can use square brackets to change the size of any brush on the fly. All right, I will need to deselect those stars here and there. So I change to subtract again and I'm deselecting now. I got too much selection here. Deselecting this guy, this one and this one. So in my case, I got this pattern that bothered me. So it's take a little bit longer. Maybe your object is clear in the field, white background, something like this. So selection will be much smoother. Of course, it can be also much harder than this one. It all depends on the picture. All right, just inspecting all around. I think I got quite good selection right now. Just a few details here and there. And we almost ready to refine our selection, just few more clicks here and there. Just want to do it in one first try, don't want to redo it. So here as well. So make this selection as best as you can. This will kind of determine about the final results. Okay, I will hit refine button at the top now. And this will allow me to make some refinements for my selection. So my out output is selection. After I finished with these sliders, those sliders, I will get selection again. In my case, I must reduce this value here because of my stars on the wall. They are so similar, I'm afraid the program will try to help me and select them again. So be sure only your object is visible. Everything that is red in this preview will be deselected. Apply. Got my selection ready. Now I can finally use adjustments. So go to adjustment panel. It should be just next to your layer panel and search for recolor adjustment. Then click default. Oh, that's a strong color, but only fill the area of our selection. That's perfect. As you can see, I got mask here. So I got new layer. It's called adjustment layer to modify colors. And this layer is masked only to the area we selected before. Now by using sliders, we can alter the color of this adjustment layer. Of course, it's very strong and unnatural, so I will desaturate a little bit, make it a little bit darker, darker and even reduce opacity to make it more natural. 
You can play with blending modes as well, but in my case I will keep it as normal. So let's go back to the top, set up normal. So I reduce opacity, I reduce brightness and saturation a little bit. So I got more natural color on the sofa. And that's the trick of many like online sellers try to present different color versions. They just have one picture and then they alter the color. So this is actually not natural color, it's like photo, photo montage. All right, so as you can see, you can always use this slider to alter the color of the object. You don't need to select this again and again. If you are not happy with this selection, let's say, you can always modify your mask. You see this little black and white rectangle next to the adjustment panel. This is our mask. So if you click on the mask directly and then select the brush tool, you'll be able to paint black and white color on it. So let's give it a go. I will pick very simple brush. So I go in here, picking brush head, this one. And now I got black color. So I'm going to remove from the mask. I'm painting black, so it's gone. If I switch this, I'm painting white, I'm adding element to the mask. So if you notice something after you finish with selection, you add your recoloring layer already, you can still use the brush, black and white, to add or remove from the mask as well. All right, so that's the easy method how to recolor objects in Affinity Photo. It's not the most precise or more realistic one, but I think it's good enough for most of us. All right, guys, I hope I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.